Hey, 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 it's me, Tiffany. Welcome to my channel where I share all things pregnancy, postpartum, and motherhood related. I am a certified birth and postpartum doula, so that means that I support women and their families on their journey from conception to postpartum. If you haven't had a chance yet, please check out my website at www.nurturebytiff.com where you can check out my doula services that I offer. You can check about check out my pff, childbirth education courses and you can also check out my merch. Um, So I'm a few days late on this story. Um, I just recently heard about it. And it is very, very disturbing. A young teenager, a young boy was on the bus and there was a stop. A student got off. The bus was ambushed. And I am, I'm saying ambushed by an other teens. They got on and they attempted to shoot this other teen. So I'm going to share this clip with you and come back and I'm going to share my opinion on it. George's County, a student is lucky to be alive after a terrifying assault that happened on a school bus. Police telling us there were three suspect and at, suspects and at least one of them had a gun. Fox 5's Melanie Alnwick is live in Prince George's County this morning with the latest on this. Mel, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Prince George's County Police are currently investigating this as an assault. But from what we're hearing, witnesses say it sounded like and it looked like attempted murder. This happened Monday at 4.55 in the evening on a Prince George's County school bus. The driver stopped to let a student off at the stop by Iverson Mall. That's when three suspects wearing masks and hoodies pushed their way past the bus aide then began attacking another student. One suspect pointed a gun at the boy's chest and pulled the trigger, but the gun jammed. The aide said bullets fell to the floor. The boy's mother spoke with us. She says her son was beaten and pistol whipped and she's angry. They tried to kill my son three times and they failed. And you know what I would say to them? You are cowards. You're going to forever be a coward. You're not going to have any good luck and you will get caught. Prince George's County Public Schools said in a statement that they're horrified by the incident, grateful no lives were lost, adding the highest priority is keeping students, staff and families safe on school grounds and classrooms and school buses. They also say they'll continue working with law enforcement partners during the investigation to ensure safety for all members of the Prince George's County Public School community. Now, we understand that there may be video of the incident from the school bus camera. And coming up at 7, a school bus driver tells us his colleagues are terrified. Y'all know me. I have so many questions. Like, what? What? First of all, these kids jump on this bus, okay, scare the life out of not only the scene, the bus driver, whoever else is on this bus. They attempt to shoot this boy in the head and by some force or something, the gun ended up jamming, okay, and they were not able to accomplish their goal. So they weren't successful with that. So they turn around and beat the boy up. And then they're able to go on about their business. You I don't understand. I don't I I, I, I really don't understand. Like what is wrong with these kids? What is wrong with these adults? What is wrong with the world as a whole? I mean and they said that the bus driver don't even want to come back to work, rightfully so. I wouldn't want to drive another bus a day in my life if, you know, something like that happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it, there is no, um, nobody values life anymore. And I know a lot of people have this like YOLO, you know, you only live once mindset or, you know, they don't care about dying. You know, they feel like, hey, I'm going to die one day anyway. Or they feel like you earn some type of respect or stripes or whatever in the streets, you know, by taking a life or, you know, being willing to die. But I mean, y'all, why? Why? And I, I know they had on masks and everything like that, so you really couldn't see it, but from me looking and studying the video, they look like they were probably about the same age as that little boy. They were some young teens themselves. You know what I'm saying? Some young kids. Y'all, I don't understand what's happening. 
but this was heartbreaking as you know as, as a parent to watch this my kids, children don't ride the bus you know what i'm saying but i mean at this point it really doesn't even matter you can be sitting in your car randomly and somebody can come up to you and you know what i'm saying pull your doorknob or you know just shoot in the car just because you know what i'm saying like no no there there's no value on people's lives and there is no thinking about what you're doing and the fact that you making this decision to kill this boy you're going to prison for the rest of your life do you really want to do that i ain't never been arrested I ain't never been on time went to the dang on prison or something was to visit somebody and that was traumatizing to me having to go in there and be patted down and you know what I'm saying? You can't wear this. You can't do that. You, you know what I'm saying? You're going in there, sitting at the table with them and all that stuff. And they looking over at you, making sure you ain't doing nothing. I can only imagine. And I'm in the free world. I can only imagine. You know what I'm saying? What what people go through that are actually locked up. You know what I'm saying? I, mm -mm. I, I, mm -mm. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I, I don't understand the mentality of I don't care about going to prison. I don't care about taking someone's life. I don't care about causing other people harm and trauma. Y'all, stuff has gotta stuff has gotta change. Stuff has gotta change. These kids need some help. These people that are raising these kids, y'all gotta get more involved in y'all's children's lives and their affairs and figure out what the heck they got going on because it's 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 just a downward spiral. A downward spiral. Things don't seem to be getting any better. They just seem to be getting worse. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's senseless for no reason. And we need to figure out what's going on. And I know people don't really seem to care about this type of thing because it's not directly affecting you. You know what I'm saying? You don't seem to care about it until it's you. Until the police come knock at your door and say, we have this horrible news for you. Or your baby's not coming home. Or so-and-so was taken. You know what I'm saying? You feel like because it doesn't directly happen to you that it doesn't matter, but it does matter. Because these incidents are getting closer and closer and closer to home. Yeah, it really, it, it, it takes a village. I mean, I know we cannot save everyone, but we could at least try. You know what I'm saying? Like, there, there's something really wrong in society today. And everybody's so wrapped up in their own little worlds and their own little bubbles, you know, sitting back and talking about everything that's going on, but not really trying to get out and make a difference and trying to help anybody. <sighs> yeah, this story was, it was hard. It was hard for me to watch. I mean, I didn't even see, you know, the actual them trying to shoot him or whatever, but I can only imagine, you know what I'm saying? I'm so grateful that, you know, he's okay. Um, I hope he's able to make a recovery. And I really hope that these boys don't try to go back and retaliate or anything like that because they didn't do what they set out to do. You know, um, man, that was tough to, that was tough. But anyways, I just want to get on here and, and just kind of vent a little bit about that because it, it, I'm, I'm worried. I'm, I'm worried and I'm concerned, you know, about our future shoot about my children about people the lady next door you know what i'm saying i'm just i'm just concerned and just wondering you know where we're going as people but anyway i thank you all so much for watching and um comment like subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one